Hello, I'm Zeke Soto. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Sample Saturday. Today is a sample that was sent to me by Pete from Hendrix Classics & Co. One of his samples. It's called Hidden Goddess. And it's one of those top shelf bases, he calls it. It has got bergamot blossom, peach nectar, whipped sugar, uh, and golden amber and sandalwood. And it's a very sweet, um, almost caramel-ish uh, scent to me. Uh, it smells almost like, almost like cane sugar and when you make your own caramel on the frying pan. So a very sweet, yet has some flowery notes. So a sweet flowery uh, soap scent. And of the sample it was a 4 out of 10 and whipped up. It, it kind of woke up so now it's, it's kind of a 6. Six and a half, maybe even. I'm using the bowl that Pete uh, sent me. He sent me the soap too. Thank you, Pete. Um, it's the straight wall, black stainless steel bowl, and I'm using the Yachi Ringo 23 millimeter uh, silver tip knot uh, brush. It's called Ringo. So. Today I'm not drinking coffee, I'm drinking tea because my throat is sore. I have been struggling with a, a sore throat and coughing and snot and slime in my lungs and stuff. So I'm drinking tea today and to honor the soap um, I'm using, I'm drinking the Earl Grey with a bergamot added to it. So black tea with bergamot. Here in my region, it's called Russian Earl Grey. I don't know that if it's that's the name in the rest of the world, but that's what it's called here. So black tea, Earl Grey, with the uh, bergamot added. So that's my favorite. I have a little honey in it and a little milk, and that's why I'm using this. Uh, funny cop because that's my T mark. The razor is this. The supply is e, the matte black with the grip sleeve that they released. In it I have the top shelf blade, the supply black, the Japanese made in Siki City. If any of you love blades and knives like me, you know Siki City, that's where the good Japanese blades are from and the good Japanese steel. So that's it. Uh, the razor, the handle is three and a half inch uh, and the weight is 93 grams. And I think that's all the statistics for now. If I start coughing during this shave, I apologize in advance because I know I I might because my throat is killing me. This has been going on for almost two weeks now. So, oops. Let's try to avoid too much soap all over. I have a three-day stubble, and I have to say, this is a supply se revisited because I just haven't been able to get it right. I always cut off my throat even though this is the CE with the special head with all the ridges on it and, and all that. All the supply razors I always cut off my, my neck. So even with this even though they say it's impossible to do it with this. Well, to me nothing is impossible when it comes to cutting. So, that's where it is. Thank you to Supply for finally listening to people like me and making the grip. Because with my hands I've always had trouble Actually, 
holding on to my supply razors. I have all their razors. I have the stainless steel. I have the copper colored Samac, the version 2.0. I have the Pro in chrome, polished. And I have this. I don't know if it's true, but I saw in another video someone using one of these saying that this was actually produced in China. If that's true, I haven't been able to find any information on it. So that might not be true. But, oh yeah, I have a, a, an old um, sit here. So, I don't know if you see it. I like this blade. But I also like this chic yellow. The Chinese one. So. But I thought if I am to revisit this razor. I better use their best blade. It's nice and comfortable today. This is one of those razors that I really want to like. I really want it to work. But so far, I haven't been able to. But I must say today feels like a very good start. So. Flowery and cane sugar caramel, you know, that's what I get from this and that's something I really like, so. Might be that my cold that I've been fighting and my throat buck might affect my sense of smell. I have been tested with all kinds of different um, uh, COVID-19 tests because everyone said that's COVID, that's COVID. But even the PCR test at the hospital said no it's not. And I haven't had it for the past three months they could say. So let's see, this is where I usually cut up my neck but let's see maybe today is the day that I finally get the hang of this this is only my fourth shave with this so passing judgment is kind of unfair anyway But the three first shaves, I weren't happy. Uh, I wasn't happy with. This feels much be much better. I see. <laughs> you see? Oh, that's almost nothing. Plenty of residual slickness, and this being the tough shell base means that this is the base. It's not, it's not vegan, but it doesn't contain tallow. It has lanolin, tosser silk, and goat milk. And that's why it cannot be classified as vegan. 
So it's somewhere in between. See, I cut my sit there. That's not the racer's fault. And my usual spot down here also. My neck feels nice though, so. Plenty of residual slickness to work with here. So, that's nice. So tell me if you feel like it in the comments. Do you have an ejector razor? Do you have a supply razor? Do you love the chicks? Do you have the new Asylum from Mongoose injector razor? Or maybe one of the vintage chicks. Chick races. Tell me in the comments. I would say today was the best feeling shave during the shave I've had so far, but you see, I still managed to draw blood down there. So maybe that's just a thing with me and these races. It's a map thing, bumpy road, you know. My neck is actually feeling very nice. I had a comfortable shave. A little here under the nose. A little there. about it so I'm still not I'm still not you know still not completely satisfied because I shouldn't have to they say it's impossible to draw blood but I still do here as I always do I have no aftershave for today but I have the bergamot lavender which hazel from serving that I will be using today. Milky white, full of good skin food, and a very strong bergamot lavender scent. Very pleasant, very relaxing, and awesome on the skin. This is actually, well, I rub this place a lot. So that's why it's a good red. But if this was a test, I would say the razor passed. This was a, a nice shave and the result is nice. I still need some more shaves to say that this is in my top five, five or six or seven uh, of injector razors. I'm not there yet. The the unscented balm, the peep of peat, also sent me. I know I've used this a couple of times, so I know I need a very little of this. It's great stuff. Uh, well, a little more even. Yeah, so that's nice. But I would say the end result today was one of the best I've had with any supply ratio. And as I just told you earlier, I have four different ones. This was the best shave I've had so far. No soreness, no itchiness, no burning. Everything is good. Like, subscribe, hit the bell and share. And you know why we do this? We do this because we are not obsessed. We are dedicated. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful weekend. Six Solo out.